It's Carmen with a tale from Argentina called Five Ears of Corn. Once, a mother sent her son to buy five ears of corn. Five and no more, she said. The boy, afraid he'd forget, went off down the road, repeating, five and no more. A potato farmer heard the boy and thought he was making fun of him because growing only five potatoes would be a terrible crop. Why would you even say that? Asked the farmer. You should say, I hope it's the biggest one ever. Okay, repeated the boy, continuing down the road. I hope it's the biggest one ever. A man suffering from a headache heard the boy and said, You hope my headache is the biggest one ever? That's not very nice. You should be saying, I hope it goes away. Got it, said the boy, heading off again. I hope it goes away. Finally, the boy reached a shop where the shopkeeper was worrying about his lack of business. When the boy said, I hope it goes away, the shopkeeper cried, What? You hope my business goes away? He grabbed the first thing he could find, which happened to be a bag full of corn, and threw it at the boy, yelling, Well, I'd like you to go away. Okay, said the boy, returning home and delivering the corn to his mom. Five and no more, asked the mom. No more, said the boy. The end. became a household name around the world for unthinkable violence, dies a violent death in a Wisconsin prison. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being with us. Serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer is dead, attacked this morning at Columbia Correctional Institution, where he was serving six... Well, we've got uh, some chilly and windy conditions, and as we get a look at weather flight, we'll see some more fair skies headed our way from the plane. And after that, we'll head to the other side of the cage in Milwaukee County Zoo for a bird's eye or perhaps a tiger's eye view at what really goes on behind the scenes. Wisconsin owns thousands of acres. Is it idle land or idle cash? You decide. This document says teachers want more vacation. Does that add up to more taxes? How do you make golf more fun? The county wants to chip away at your wallet to find out. Abandoned equipment stored in a warehouse. Some say the state is sitting on its assets. Are your Wisconsin tax dollars being wasted? Find out where all your hard-earned dollars go, because it's your money tonight at 10. Hello, I'm Gary Taft. Tonight on the 10 o'clock channel, we'll have dangerous dogs. The story tonight on Prime Time Live hit home to a Milwaukee family. Their little girl attacked by a dog just last week. Their story is 10. Jeffrey Dahmer's mother apparently angry over the book written by her ex-husband tried to take her own life. And bread as brain food for your kids. A study by a Wisconsin baker says that's so. We'll explore it for you. People missing the message of Easter, perhaps, tonight at 10. News now is next. From KOLN Lincoln and KGIN Grand Island, 1011 brings you News Now. Good evening, everyone. 
it comes to delivering the news that's complete, fair, and accurate. Siouxland's Choice is News 9 with Greg Lund, Julie Nuggets, and Tim Seaman. When it comes to news, there's only one choice. News 9, your home for live local news. An accident at an intersection has left two people hospitalized in serious condition. Good evening, I'm Natalie Heidenhofer. And I'm Ken Rickey. Thank you for joining us. About six... somewhere else it most likely would be to underground store hero here for the month and uh, we're halfway through so we should we should get a nice shower one good downpour would cover the yeah. whole monthly total well you better stay out of the rain if it's gonna give you a bad hair day <laughs> <laughs> stay out of the pool you mean oh okay the bird haircut would, uh, <laughs> would do it for you after it rains this week your lawn if not your hair is going to grow even faster but tips to keep tips to keep you and your family out of Sure, the Paris to Dakar rally is a grueling race, but at least it starts in Paris. And it seemed like a good way to find out how tough our new Kia Sportage was. Over the course Good news for our Mariners fan. <laughs> he gets my goat. Jonathan Drew will tell you all about that, and he'll have a whole lot more coming up in the story. We'll let you know how the weather's shaping up this weekend, coming up at 10. Live, this is News 22, 11 at 11. Irish eyes are focused on Southern California tonight as Notre Dame plays USC. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Pinkerton. Dustin has the night off. It is the biggest game for the Irish. Different story tonight on the help of Cuban leader Fidel Castro. Why Venezuela's president says rumors about his poor condition are untrue. Plus, it's not exactly something you would want to see heading toward your boat, why icebergs are showing up along the coast of New Zealand. And meteorologist Andrew Sweeney says no ice to worry about here, at least for a few days. Storm Tracker forecast. Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Andrew Sweeney. A great day across the room. Two inside. Me too. It's an old sports cliche, but it can be oh so true. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. With a blitzkrieg attack, the Concord football team robbed to a 14-0 record and the 4A state title game, but Indy Cathedral... <laughs> to New York to take you inside Consumer Reports. And you see a door that sells off limits? We want to open that door. Renee did just that and took us places you can't go. Was it all a mistake or was she really ripped off? It's one woman's used car nightmare. One of missing miles. We'll tell you how to protect yourself against it. And from Dwayne? People expect us to make sure they get the money. It's a pure credit mission. It's your money. News that makes a difference on Channel 12. This is talk radio with a pulse. Human emotion. Real life stuff that touches people where they live. This show isn't about Wisconsin. It is Wisconsin. You know why I break so many stories? Because people trust me not. Continue for the afternoon. Occasional snow will fly. Thursday and Friday look dry. Temperatures by Friday around 46 degrees. And we'll watch maybe little Alberta Clipper get organized and potentially move through for Friday night and Saturday. But a little early to tell on that. For the most part, we've coasted through November. I tell you, and we're right on top of December, but I think old man winter and the cold air he brings is here. Catching up. Fine. Right. That'll do it for now. We'll see you in the morning for First News 530. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. You see me something in the show. All talk about Frank W. We do want 4747. Because it's coverage you could count on.